friends welcome to my channel and we talk leptospirosis of cattle uh, leptospirosis is a common infection in dairy and beef herds causing infertility abortion and poor milk yield right uh, so let us talk about what is the etiology or what is the cause of leptospirosis the two important types of leptospira hardzo are leptospira boars petersoni sirovar hardzo and leptospira enterogens sirovar hardzo the infection arises from contact with infected cattle infected cattle's urine or the products of abortion the disease is spread most often during the spring and summer months while cattle are at pasture right the important risk factors for leptospirosis are open herds where cattle have close contacts using shared bulls mix grazing with sheep if sheep are grazing with cattle then that is a risk then shared uh, common water resources now we talk of the clinical signs of leptospirosis in cattle a sudden drop in milk yield occurs 2 to 7 days after infection of susceptible cows right the udder becomes soft and flabby with colostrum like secretions or blood tinged milk in all the quarters so this is an indication that probably the animal has got leptospirosis other signs include fever the animal may develop fever anorexia that is the loss of appetite lethargy animal becomes very lethargic dull and then jaundice yellowing of the mucous membranes and the sclera hemoglobinuria red or brown urine by the animal abortion in pregnant cows are common and then reproductive problems such as infertility milk drop in lactating cows sudden drop in the milk muscle stiffness and reluctance to move this is another sign then how can we diagnose leptospirosis the clinical signs are a clue and history of exposure to contaminated water or urine from infected animals are suggestive but not definitive right laboratory tests are required for a conclusive diagnosis the examination of the urine sediments is a appropriate test then serology specifically the microscopic agglutination test is the gold standard for identifying the sero var of leptospira involved pcr test can also be used to detect the dna of the bacteria post mortem examination may reveal characteristic lesions in the affected organs now we come to treatment of leptospirosis in dairy cattle antibiotics such as penicillin or tetracyclines are often used to treat leptospirosis in cows and cows recover with such treatment supportive care including fluid therapy and nutrition nutritional support is essential to manage dehydration and loss of appetite right isolation and proper management to prevent the spread of the disease to other animals is essential vaccine is available but may not provide complete protection due to the many different zero wars of leptospira then we talk of the control in a closed herd with no evidence of previous infection all replacements including bulls should be isolated for 3 weeks and treated with streptomycin 25 mg per kg on two occasions 10 to 14 days apart before entry into the herd right herds experiencing acute leptospira hardzo infection for the first time should consider whole herd antibiotic treatment to reduce the risk of spread of infection and a vaccination program so friends kindly do subscribe to my channel give your likes and comments